And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast. Welcome back to East Texas Live. We are checking in with Chief Meteorologist Carson Vicroy, who is live out in Gun Bureau City. Carson, how's it looking? Uh, yes, Corinne. Well, we do have storms off to our north and west. So what you're looking at right now, that's actually a severe thunderstorm warning across Cedar Creek Lake here in Ellis and southern Dallas County. And it's just been pretty interesting to watch. Now, there's lightning there in the distance, so we can't stay here for too long. But you can see some white capping out on the lake there. And then off to our north, uh, northwest, rather, is Kaufman County. There's also a couple of showers and thunderstorms out that way as well. So the storms behind me are relatively intense, but if you're living in Longview right now, there's really not a lot going on. This is the tower cam, and you, you'll notice the clouds that are in the area right now. It certainly has flirted with a little bit of rain, but once again, most of that rain has now moved off to the south and to the southwest. Beneficial rainfall for places like Tyler and Henderson. Anderson, Cherokee County this morning, certainly more than expected, which is something we really needed to see. And it's brought the cooler temperatures as well. Those temps are in the 70s where it has rained. It's 72 degrees in Tyler, folks. That's pretty nice. 71 in Jacksonville. But where it hasn't rained, much different story. 80s for deep east Texas, including Lufkin and Hemphill, and then Sulphur Springs and Mount Pleasant to our north. Those storms developed to the south of our I-30 counties. We are at 82 degrees for both locations. So all in all, not a half bad morning to start. We got the rainfall, and we could see additional showers a little later on today. But since we've already seen the rain, the amount of energy left that's going to be available in the afternoon, it's probably not going to be all that much. So here's 2 o'clock on Futurecast. We do have a few showers and thunderstorms. This is going to be more so of a central Texas event as opposed to an east Texas event. You can see all those storms by Waco. Now, by 7 o'clock tonight, we could still see a few bubble up showers and storms in parts of deep east Texas. Their atmosphere has not been overworked by those rain showers yet. So I do anticipate that we could see a couple of showers there. By 8 o'clock, maybe more bubble ups near Houston and Trinity County. So we're not quite out of the woods yet. Now, here is today's forecast. Now, anytime it rains in the mornings, that wreaks havoc on a meteorologist high temperature, and it really has for us today. I mean, we were forecasting 99 yesterday. I've only got us at 90 for today. We do have a chance at some scattered showers and thunderstorms, but those chances will diminish the further north you go this afternoon. Now, as we move into tonight, it should be relatively cool. We will certainly take what we can get from this. We're down to about 74 degrees, and I do anticipate that those clouds will slowly begin to decrease. Now, over your, your next seven days from a temperature standpoint, we will be at 90, as I mentioned today, but it's right back to reality for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Triple-digit temperatures are expected, upper 90s Monday and Tuesday. Wednesday, we will hit 100 degrees. Now, as we look at your extended forecast for Tyler Longview, Jacksonville, there are your triples. I would say the best chance of rain right now uh, with the exception of today, we've seen the rain today, will be Monday of next week. An isolated shower can't be ruled out then. And then in deep east Texas, because we haven't seen the rain today, I do anticipate us to be a little warmer than our northern counterparts. We'll hit 92 degrees, about a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Of course, that heat returns with force as we move into tomorrow, which we may see a light shower to our south tomorrow. But triple digit temperatures are expected Saturday and Sunday. So from Cedar Creek Lake, we continue to track this thunderstorm over in Ellis County. Makes for some beautiful views, but we are going to be safe. We're going to get back into the car.